This is the digital music trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014, an interview with Bill Hajar and Jean-Pierre Dodel from the company Senzari on their new product, Music Graph. DMT's coverage of South by Southwest is brought to you by Omniphone, the leading B2B cloud music provider powering global music services including Sony Music Unlimited, Guvera, Rara and Sirius XM. Find out more on Omniphone.com and by Music Graph, the world's first knowledge engine for music, available as a consumer app and as a graph API for developers. Check out MusicGraph.com or Developer.MusicGraph.com. So hi guys and thanks for joining me. How's it going? Great. How are you? Great. So far it's been awesome. Awesome. So, uh, thanks so much for you know. Uh, of course, uh, full disclosure. Uh, uh, Music Graph is sponsoring DMT's coverage at Southwest Southwest. So, thanks so much, uh, guys. That was uh, uh, really helpful. It's been our <laughs> pleasure. And uh, you know, as a small company, uh, we don't have the opportunity to sponsor a lot of things from a from a uh, money scenario. But this is certainly something we wanted to do, and uh, we believe it's just a great showcase for what we're doing as well as what everybody else is doing. Thanks so much. And so, let's talk about uh, Music Graph. Uh, the product is just just uh, really uh, launched. Uh, so, uh, what, what's uh, What's going on there? What is Music Graph all about? Sure. Well, first, uh, the company is Senzari. So, and then Music Graph is our is our product, and it's a uh, it's a graph based recommendation engine uh, that we actually launched unofficially a few months ago, um, and we had some some beta testers use it. Some pretty big streaming companies have looked at it, but officially we launched it uh, yesterday at the Music Hackathon here. Uh, opened it up to the public, and you know the, pub the public can go to developer.musicgraph.com and check it out. Um, and we're real excited about it. Uh, you know, obviously there's been a lot of news in the market right now about sure. uh, services like ours. Um, when we've been building our product for two years, so we're not just coming in, but it's, yeah. uh, from a timing perspective, it couldn't be better. So we're real excited about it. Absolutely. And so uh, what are the main features of Music Graph, uh, just so, so, you can, so people at home can understand what, what's going on there? Sure. So Music Graph really kind of tries to see the problem of a music recommendation and discovery in a very different way. I mean, it's been a, a problem for, for the last uh, years. And uh, so we wanted to look at this in a different way and represent all of that knowledge, you know, seven plus billion data points actually put into a graph engine. So this is new technology that comes out that allows us to really explore that knowledge in a much more efficient way, a much more flexible way. So the result is a much more personalized experience for the user that takes into account other contextual elements like perhaps weather, radio station, play uh, charts information. We can get uh, the metrics from other sites so we can combine all this information and make that musical experience much more personalized and accurate and relevant. Yeah, sure, absolutely. And so, how have you seen the uh, the uptake? Uh, what's been going? What's been happening at the Hack Day? And uh, uh, you know, what kind of hacks are you seeing around around today? Well, the uh, creativity in there is pretty uh, pretty high. So we're seeing some uh, really exciting uh, uh, applications, ideas that they want to do to solve this problem of recommendation and music, uh, you know, suggestion. So uh, you know, sometimes it's just doing nothing. People going and walking into a place and wanting to the engine to understand who these people are and recommending things. So that's really down the line of what we're what we're trying to build too, what we've built already and, and deployed. So, so we're happy to see people thinking forward and trying to resolve this problem. And this is where the API really comes in. Yeah, sure. And, and Bill, there's a you know three different products essentially, and so also like three different aims, I guess, for different companies that that can use those those APIs in different ways. So, uh, w w who are you targeting right now? Because it's it's quite a broad base, right? Well, I think the most interesting part of what we're targeting is that the the price level to get into any of the products that we have, whether it's the graph search product, the music data product, or the playlisting product is, uh, it's free to obviously try out, but it's at a $500 price range just to get into the game to actually use it commercially. Awesome. Um, so the companies that we're targeting could be using any or all of those products, um, and they could be literally, you know, two people in a garage who, you know, it's because it's, it's very uh, limited to get into, or one of the, you know, largest streaming music services in the world, and, you know, we're talking to all of them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think not so much of who we're targeting. I think what we did is we, tar we, we opened it up so the target is anybody who really wants to, to use recommendations in our technology, in our engine, in order to provide uh, you know, a better service or a cool service or a new service or a service just to, for their like, high school band or something. Yeah. I mean, you could do, do all different levels. That's great. And so you can find out all, all the information on uh, musicgraph.com or developer.musicgraph.com. As you probably, if you, if you watch some of my videos, you've probably seen the, uh, the, the sponsor spots at the beginning of the show. So you, you're probably uh, familiar with the, the company already. But, uh, Let's talk about uh, uh, the Miami Music Summit as well. So that's that's a great event that you're putting together uh, coming uh, coming up just in one and a half weeks. I can't believe it's yeah, so close. Yeah, it's uh, and uh, there's a hackathon as well. So you know how, how did that come about? And and and, and uh, uh, you know is it the first edition? Yeah. So um, so yeah, uh, on the hackathon.
done is the weekend of the 22nd of March, so yeah. two weeks from today or tomorrow. Um, and uh, Music Summit is on the 24th, which is a Monday, so it's a day-long summit. Uh, and we really did it to, to really kind of bring forth the community of Miami that we're a part of from a technology side and the music community of Miami that's always, it's been there, it's been growing, it's, it's got a great Latin influence, but it's, you know, there's been famous artists lived there. Um, and kind of trying to bring those two together uh, in a way that, you know, is fun and it's exciting. It's, it's, it's an event that's for everyone. Um, and the hackathon itself, both the events are the first time we've done it. Uh, we have great response on the hackathon. Um, I don't think we'll get as many people as we have here, but yeah. I think we'll have close actually. Um, and the, the One Day Music Summit, uh, you know, there's there's the kind of the who's who of uh, our industry. We believe it are coming, so there's great panels. Uh, I think it'll be some great discussions. Uh, people will learn stuff and uh, you know shake a lot of hands, and it'll be fun. That's great, and it's uh, that's all on MMS.co. So you're excited about the hackathon in Miami? Yeah, that's going to be great. Actually, it's uh, you know another opportunity to actually get creativity high up there, and get some cool ideas from everybody. So it'll be fun. Awesome. Well, guys, thanks so much for your time. And uh, okay. again, go and check out musicgraph.com. And thanks so much for listening to the DMT coverage of South by Southwest. You can find everything out on digitalmusictrends.com or youtube.com slash digitalmusictrends. Yeah.